This is a 1938 Farmel F20 and today we're going to look into what it takes to um, time the magneto to the engine dead timing pretty much starting over um, timing is pretty critical keeps a person from getting kicked when you're cranking make it really dependable on that part what I like to do in order to do that and you can do it several different ways but uh, I like to pull the uh, engine side covers and then I'll pull the spark plugs and the valve cover because then I can watch the valves um, and see where we're at exactly on the engine because this is the exhaust valve and this is the intake valve for the number one cylinder so when we go to turn this engine over and you can I can kind of get to the crank here you can see the uh, exhaust valve is opening there so now we know we're on the exhaust stroke on number one there's the intake valve opening and now it's closing and so, in the crankcase, we can see number one rod going up when it's almost straight up. Then I'll take the time and try to find the timing mark on the flywheel. And that's down in here. Should be a DC and a little line on the flywheel. I like to use a die grinder and a wire brush, clean up the flywheel a little bit, try to find that mark, and then I'll mark it with a white paint pen. So, turn it over and find our mark. My paint pen work was a little sloppy there. <laughs> so, a little bit of fine tuning here. We'll push this back a hair and uh, we should be number one, top dead center right there. Book says to get it on number one, top dead center. Um, so we have it timed for sure. You can, uh, without pulling the valve cover, you can do that in the engine bay by uh, watching your cam lobes you can see when exhaust and intake are opening and closing on number one just through the side covers and you can also time it that way without pulling the valve cover if you want to the mag coupler over here is held on with two bolts and a shim in there. It's got an adjustment, you know, to fine tune the timing on the mag. Check your uh, play on the timing gears. Doesn't seem too bad. I like to take that off so that um, I'm ready when the mag's ready to put it on. I'm gonna go over here to the magneto. This is an F4 International Mag. The book says to uh, fully retard the magneto so this lever here, when it's all the way up, that's fully retarded. Take this clip and remove that cover. Don't have to drop it. <laughs> remove the distributor cap and here's your uh, pointer um, number one cylinder is here generally on these F4 magnetos so it's uh, where you want to turn it to line up with number one now if you turn it clockwise or in the rotation that uh, the magneto turns on the engine your impulse may be set so 
I turn it backwards so that I don't have to deal with the impulse and I get the pointer here pointing in the general direction of number one cylinder location number one spark plug wire location on the uh, distributor cap then we go in here and we get it to where the book says the points are just beginning to open which it's hard to see but you can see it when you are doing it a lot easier than this camera but there it's opening see so when the points are just beginning to open that's where you want it now the uh, this is a fiber coupler this part goes to the magneto we'll take that all over to the tractor and time that install it Now here we have the, the coupler again and the fiber coupler is installed in the back of the mag lined up. We're going to line up the uh, other half of the coupler that goes to the governor connection here like so. and. Uh, Fit that up to there. And then we're going to see which hole in here lines up the closest. Checking to make sure still that we have the points. Um, just beginning to open on number one. It looks like right here is where we want it. Right there. So I put in one bolt and the other bolt's going to be a little harder to get to. So we're going to snug this one down and turn the engine over, put the other one in, try it out. Then after that you should be able to uh, install your bolts and we're going to check it to see if it's um, correct. And that's pretty much how you t dead time the F4 Magneto to the McCormick Bearing Tractors.